We're going to talk about atmospheric convection currents, and um, atmospheric convection currents work like any other convection currents. We talked about these um, with the movement of magma in the mantle, or perhaps boiling water. Um, the idea being that warm air is going to rise, cool air is going to sink, and these cycles move over and over. And of course I'm oversimplifying this a bit. For more details, make sure that you view the video clip on adiabatic heating and adiabatic cooling. The first convection current we're going to talk about starts at the equator. Um, make sure that you check out the video on intertropical convergence zones. Warm air at the equator is going to rise into the atmosphere. As it rises, it does cool. Uh, make sure you check out the adiabatic cooling and heating video. But as it cools, water is going to condense, form clouds, follows rain, and it's why in these equatorial regions you get these nice lush rainforests. The warm air continues to rise, move outward. Cool air is going to sink back to the earth and then flow back towards the equator to replace the displaced air. And it's not just happening to the north, but it also happens to the south. Should be a little more circular. These convection currents are known as Hadley cells. And if you're looking for something interesting, uh, look up the term horse latitudes and also look up the origins of the name Horse Latitudes and I think you'll find it a, a sad yet interesting story. Similar to Hadley cells are polar cells and they're formed by air rising at about 60 degrees north and south latitude and sinking back down at the poles or 90 degrees north and south latitude. And not the best drawing, but I think you're getting the idea. Between the polar cells and the Hadley cells, there's another area of air circulation. Um, and in that area, there aren't really distinct convection currents, so to speak. Um, these air currents, or air, this air circulation, rather, is moved by um, more of the action of the polar cells and the Hadley cells that there's in between. Um, at the Earth's surface, some of the warmer air from the Hadley cells, Hadley cells rather, will move towards the poles, and some of the cooler air from the poles will move back towards the equator. And keep in mind as I'm drawing these that uh, these activities are going on in both the northern and southern hemisphere. Also remember that these convection currents don't uh, take place just in two dimensions. They're happening all over the globe. Um, so this is a little bit more complex than the drawings have made it. And then also you have to factor in the fact that, well, the Earth is spinning. And with the spinning of the Earth comes some interesting things like the Coriolis effect, which is covered in another video. And make sure you check that out too.